In this video, I'm going to show you a fun little trick to build AI web apps with no coding by connecting Lovable with NAN. So we're going to build a simple website in Lovable, which is going to send information to NAN. We're going to have all the AI brains happening in NAN. It's then going to send information back into Lovable, where we're going to display that information. So here's the plan. We're going to try and build a YouTube title rewriter. So I'm going to create a simple website in Lovable where I can enter a title for a YouTube video. When I hit submit, it's going to send that title into NAN via a webhook. In NAM, we're going to have an AI agent take that title, and then we're going to prompt it to rewrite it, and then send it back to Lovable via a webhook where we're going to display it on a new page. I'm hoping that basically I will be able to give it an input like how to connect Lovable and NAM, and it's going to give me a much better title that will sound better and hopefully isn't too clickbaity. So let's see how we go. I have not built this, I don't have a script or anything, we're just going to vibe code this as we go. So we will run into issues, I will have to debug them, and hopefully that is useful to watch. So let's get started over on Lovable. Now normally I'd start a project like this by using my lazy vibe prompt, which I'll show in the description below if that's useful. But in the last few days, Lovable have just released the ability to voice prompt. So I'm going to give this a test and tell Lovable what it is I'm trying to build. Build a simple, beautiful, modern website for a YouTube title rewriter. On the home page, there should be an input box where the user can enter a title. And when they hit submit, we're going to send that title via a webhook, which is going to be caught by N8N. N8N is then going to transform that and send some JSON back via a webhook. We're going to display that information that comes back from N8N on a separate page. Make the whole thing look amazing using modern 2025 design standards like glass morphism, ensuring everything is responsive, looks great on all devices, and is easy to use and has good usability and user experience. Let's see how that goes. Now, the only thing I am going to add in there manually is I'm going to give it the webhook endpoint. So to do that, I need to quickly put something together in NAN. I'm not going to go through and configure everything just yet, but I do just need to do enough to get some webhooks. At a basic level, how this is going to work is we're going to trigger this from a webhook call. So that's the webhook that we need. So basically, we're going to send it to this webhook. We're then going to send that into an AI agent, which will connect to OpenAI. And I'm then going to send the information that's going to come back from the AI uh, back to a webhook. So we're going to respond to the webhook um, that we got. Let me just save that. So in Lovable, before I submit this, I'm just going to here, just tell it that endpoint. So I'm not giving it any direction on color scheme or like too much on design. So who knows what we're going to get back there. But let's just see what we get back. So I have just realized that on this one, I'm on the free Lovable account. So at some point during this build, I assume we're going to have to upgrade Lovable because I think we only have five free credits a day or something. Ooh, it's going for purple, blue, and pink gradients. How very original Lovable. Oh, I just heard some noise. So that tells me that this should be ready. No preview. Let me refresh. Here we go. That looks fine. That was kind of what I was expecting, basically just a one page app with a, an input field. So I assume this is going to not work, but let's see what happens. Okay, I just want to see if, for example, do we get a test event on NAN if I click that? Okay, no. So the first thing I want to double check is are we actually posting to that webhook? So I'm just going to ask, I'm just going to put chat on. If you put chat mode on on Lovable, it doesn't use credits. Uh, so it's good for just kind of asking back and forward when you're not actually trying to build anything. So I just want to confirm, are you actually posting to the webhook I gave you? Okay, it is fine to receive post requests. So, okay, I've just told it that we're hitting this error and we're not receiving any events yet in and it ends. So I'm just going to see if it can tell me why. Okay, so Lovable has come back saying that the post request is being sent correctly to NAN. It's properly formatted, but we're getting a 500 error. So it seems though there's a couple of things that could explain why. It could be that just because we've not set this up, it's not sending anything back to Lovable. It could also be that it's not active. So 
if we activate that so that it can actually, I, I don't think it would be that because I think the webhook should still work even in test mode. Let me just set this up and we'll see if that fixes it. Okay, problem solved. So it was because the response was set to immediately, but if we change that down here to using respond to webhook node, now if we listen for an event and I say, hello, we click that, now NAN is actually uh, getting the webhook. So we can see here in the body, we're getting title hello. So this webhook is now working. So we can now send that information into our agents. I'm just gonna set this up. So I'm gonna define this below. And if we can grab the title and I'm just gonna give it a really kind of quick basic prompt for now. We're gonna tidy this prompt up a little bit later. So let's just say you are a YouTube title writing expert. Please rewrite this to be better. Current title, so let's execute that. Okay, cool, so that's given us an output. So we've said hello, it's saying mastering the art of saying hello, the ultimate guide. So now that should send that back to the web, this webhook and it's outputting that. So let's see now if our lovable site is going to work. Okay, we're still getting an error. So let's see why. Okay, so the reason that's not working now is because I told it to return the titles in a JSON format. So we need to get our agent to output the titles in a specific format. So I'm just gonna take this format that Lovable is telling us, go back to our AI agent, and in that prompt, we're just gonna say, output in this JSON format. See, perfect. Okay, so now that's fixed, let's give that a go and see if this works. So I'm just gonna click execute workflow here and say connect NAN and lovable, rewrite my title. Ooh, okay, that's good. So we're getting something back. It's coming back in a readable format. It said how to connect, integrate NAN and lovable seamlessly in minutes, easy automation. Cool, okay, so we've got a bit of polishing to do. We need to tidy this up. We need to improve the prompt so it comes back with something slightly better. But at a kind of fundamental level, we are sending a webhook from Lovable into NAN. It's doing some AI transformation, sending data back and it's displaying it in Lovable. So at a very basic level, we have something to work with here. So next, we just need to make it look a lot better. Okay, so before we make some improvements to our prompt and the Lovable page, we've hit the limit on Lovable. So I'm just gonna upgrade our account. Okay, so we've got some more credits. So first thing I'm gonna do is go over to NAN and just make some improvements to our prompt. So where we're currently just saying make this better, I'm gonna give this a slightly more in-depth prompt where I've given it a bunch of best practices and I'm asking it to come back with 25 title variations. So I've given it lots of kind of best practices on how to write titles. So if we execute that, hopefully we come back with a few more. There we go. And what I'm gonna do now is add another AI agent that's going to basically rank those titles, come up with a scoring mechanism to work out which ones are best. So we're gonna give it this. And I've got another prompt where basically we're gonna give it uh, a scoring rubric that it can use to rank different titles. I'm also changing the output JSON to include all different sort of stats on like, does it contain curiosity, emotional triggers, numbers, etc. So it's gonna give us a breakdown of how it's ranked those titles so we can display that and make that look really nice in Lovable. Okay, so let's run that, see if that works. Oh yeah, we need to connect that to OpenAI. There we go, free credits, boom. This is probably gonna use my credits quite quickly, let's see. And lastly, while we wait for that to come back, I'm also just going to prompt Lovable to accept that new JSON format we're using, and also just make some design improvements to that rewritten titles page so it looks a bit better and it can display some of that information that it's now gonna have on how the AI agent is ranking the titles. So it's still working, so obviously the AI is taking a little bit of time on this one. Okay, so we had an issue in NAN when the request timed out, so it's because I'm getting it to do a little bit too much. So 
just to kind of see if this works, instead of writing 25 titles, let's reduce this down a little bit. So let's just get it to do five titles. Okay, perfect. That has come back with a big blob of JSON. So hopefully our Lovable site can now take that interpreter and display it nicely. So let's go back to Lovable. We can see the results page changes have been made. So in theory, if we just save this, this should all work and look much better. So let's try it. How to connect NAN and Lovable. Rewrite. Error. Okay, it's saying that the NAN webhook needs to allow cause requests. This is a security thing. So in NAN, I've just added a response header. That should work. Let's try that again. Okay, so it's taking a little bit longer this time because obviously our prompts are going to take a bit longer because it's doing a little bit more processing. Let's come back with something. This is not quite what I expected. I wanted it to take this and make it look a little bit better. I can see it's trying to do some stuff like sorting, but it's still just showing the response as JSON. So let's try and get Lovable to tidy this up a little bit. Okay, I've told it that it's currently just showing the rewritten titles in a big block of JSON. So to make that look a bit better, stick it in a table and allow everything to be sortable. Okay, so after a bit of wrangling with Lovable, I think we're there. It was struggling to pass that JSON and display it in a table. So I used the secret code, please do this in all caps. And finally, it seems to have listened. So if we give this a little test, let me run our NAN workflow. And if we pop in a title, how to connect Lovable with NAN to build AI web apps, rewrite that. Then we can see our NAN workflow is running. The agents are doing their thing. It takes a little while because we've got to wait for the prompt to come back. Okay, our webhook has been sent. So now we're getting, the titles are getting sent back in a nice format. It's putting them in this table where we can see all of these different data points and how it's, how the AI has ranked them. This is looking pretty good. This is basically exactly what I was hoping for. So we now have a working AI web app where we're taking information in Lovable, sending it into NAM via webhook, doing some AI stuff and then sending it back. So I'm just doing a few last minute little bits of polishing up on the homepage, just fix up the title. We'll then publish this to our domain. I'm not gonna set up a custom domain today. So that should now be looking pretty good. So we can just pop in a title here. I like this little glow on the, the button. That's a, that's a nice little touch. Now, if we were building this for production, we'd need to change the webhook URL to the production one and then uh, put this live. I'm not gonna do that today, but at a fundamental level, we have built a lovable AI web app here that has a very simple website in Lovable, but it's using all the kind of AI brains, AI agents over in NAN and sending it back into Lovable. So the potential of what you can do with this is pretty amazing. You could build a coaching website. You could build anything basically that you could take information, improve it with a prompt and send it back to the user. There's so much that you can do with this. So please do, if you build anything interesting with this, please do let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what people are building. Now I'll share all the prompts and all the JSON, everything that I've used in this video in the description below. And if you want to learn more about building automations in NAN, I'd recommend watching this video next.